Shizzle, but shizzle, but shizzle. Hi, it's Tuesday. You're watching Tasty Tuesday. Show is Tuesday. I try to make something tasty. Sometimes it works. Oh my gosh, we're in the middle of pumpkin spice season. Oh my god. We all love it. We all love it so much. We want to die. We want to die because we can't have it all. We want to put it all in our mouths. We can't. We can't do it, so we want to die. Have you ever had a persimmon? They look like this, by the way. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like they taste like pumpkin spice in a fruit form, and I don't understand why we're not talking about it more, but maybe you guys haven't tried persimmons before. Maybe the world has not noticed these yet, and I'm not here to tell you about the world. I'm just here to do what's trending on Google, so we're going to do pumpkin spice thing. I thought today we'd make um, some pumpkin pie, but put it in the cups like we were doing before when we were making all our food into cups. I really liked that because we didn't have to wash dishes. I thought we'd make some pumpkin pie cups, which are probably called tarts, which is really confusing to me because that's how you describe a flavor of something, and I don't feel like pumpkin pies are tart. I really want to call them cups, but I feel like you'll yell at me, so I guess they're pumpkin pie tarts. I think I found possibly the easiest recipe for pumpkin pie ever, unless I just jinxed it. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully it tastes good. I really want this to work. I love pumpkin pie. So pumpkin pie, cups, tarts, whatever you want to call them. Pumpkin spice, America, like this dish. Step one, we're gonna start by really quickly making a pie crust. This is like the fourth episode in a row that we've made dough. Fourth episode in a dough. That doesn't work. Let's do this. So a tip for making the dough that I got from this recipe, which I'll leave in the description if you want to follow along. I always leave the recipe in the description. A lot of you ask for it, and it's always down there. So if you want to follow it, check it out. A tip that they mention in the recipe is putting all of your tools in the freezer to make them very cold before you get started. Cool tip. Cool. Okay. So I got a metal bowl, a potato masher, which I'm using as a pastry cutter, and uh, a rolling pin. All very, very cold. Very cold. Cool. To this bowl, we're going to add... Whoa, stop. Chill. It already is. Okay, we need to stop. One and a half cups of all-purpose flour, a fourth teaspoon of sugar, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're just gonna whisk that until it's nice and mixed. Become friends. Pumpkin spice, oh my god. Yeah, I think that's mixed. Moving on. Next, we're gonna take a half cup plus one tablespoon of vegetable shortening and cut it into cubes and sprinkle it over the flour mixture. Okay, so I kind of ignored the cutting into cubes part and I'm just sprinkling it with my hand. Is good? Okay. Now we're gonna take our very chilled pastry cutter slash potato masher turned pastry cutter or you can use a fork and we're gonna mash it into a crumbly texture there's gonna be vegetable shortening all over everything by the end of this recipe we like it America okay I think that looks pretty crumbly slash I'm impatient next we're gonna take a quarter cup of milk and drizzle it over the crumble mixture let's get to drizzling please be right please Right, please be right. I think I drizzled that pretty good. It's drizzled for shizzle. We're gonna take a fork and continue to mash it until it's mixed enough to like make a ball of dough. Do not over mix though. That's what it says. Don't don't do that. Okay, very cool. I think that's about right. Yes, yes, maybe. We'll find out very quickly. So now we're gonna take a surface and we're gonna lightly flour it. And make a little home for our dough. Doughs really love lightly floured surfaces. Oh yes, that's a good home. Okay, dough. <sighs> I need a bigger kitchen and a prettier one. We're gonna make a ball of dough out of this and we're gonna put it right in the middle of our lightly floured surface. You're home. Then we're gonna take our rolling pin and roll it out. How about that? Oh, my dough is way more crumbly than I wanted it to be. I'm gonna add more milk. This recipe is so easy. Drizzle, 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 sizzle, milk, drizzle, but drizzle. I just wanna do a good job. I will call these pumpkin pie tarts if you just let this happen. Oh, you look looking sexy now. Okay, it's a little wetter now than I wanted it to be, but that's okay. We are gonna have such a good time. I can feel it. There, you're home. Try this again. Put a towel under your cutting board so you're trapped. <laughs> so now we're rolling out our dough. Rolling with the homies. Now our dough is rolled out and I am going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, even though I'm not sure if that's the exact degrees, but I'm gonna double check it later, it's fine. 350 degrees, and we're gonna take a glass, and we're gonna use this part of the glass to cut out circles, and hopefully those circles are the right size. This is a tip that I got from some of you guys. Thank you, if this works. If not, how dare you? Let's see if they're the right size. Hold on. This isn't in the instructions because I'm making this part up, but I think I'm gonna spray this lightly with some oil, I think. I think that's okay, I think that's right. Please be right. I literally, like, just want to do it. And I want that pumpkin spice, you know what I'm saying? Oh my god. Circle. Do you fit? Yeah! Success! That's so exciting. Are you excited? They kind of fit. They kind of fit. I feel like they should be a little bigger. Like, do we want our tarts to be that size? Because then, yay, they fit! But if not, we should make them bigger. So, yeah. 
or no, I don't know, up to you. I think I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger just for safety because I feel like I'll never be able to get these out. Cool. And they don't have to be perfect, although I always feel like it needs to be. But they don't have to be. Okay, okay. Cool, so that was like minimally bigger, like not even that much bigger. So I'm gonna fill the rest of these and I'll see you in a second. Okay. Yes, we pump can. All of our doughs are in the little dough holders. That's what they're called now. Now, the super easy part that I was talking about before. This is so cool. So all we're gonna do is put all of these ingredients into a blender and then the blender is gonna do all the work. You're a slave. That's really rude, I'm so sorry. To our blender we will add one can of pumpkin, a pump can, three fourths cup of full fat coconut milk shaken really well. I like to keep things like pretty dairy free if I can, but if you prefer dairy you could use cream or half and half instead, I think. Half cup of brown sugar, I'm not talking about me. <laughs> I'm talking about sugar. Cat, calf, Half a cup. One fourth cup of cornstarch. Fourth a cup? Holy crap, I've never eaten so much. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's everywhere, the corn's everywhere. One fourth cup maple syrup, which I might have enough for. Oh my gosh, I just barely had enough for that. One teaspoon vanilla extract. Ow, why does it hurt? Questions I ask myself every day. Why is being basic so hard? Come on, seriously, you're embarrassing me. Yeah, you like that? Didn't want to have to use that, but you made me, so hope you're happy with your decisions. How much vanilla again? A teaspoon. Okay. Two teaspoons pumpkin pie spice. Pumpkin pie spice, oh my god. I want to die. Half a teaspoon cinnamon. Everything has shortening on it. Oh my gosh. And half a teaspoon salt. And then we're just going to blend this bit. I'm so sorry you're not a bitch. Hell yeah. Cool, see our blender did all the work while well, we just checked our phone. No messages for me. That's cool, I, I'm fine. I like not having people text me. Now we're gonna pour our pumpkin spice batter into our little cups. Oh, did you guess? You're so smart and this is so cool. And hopefully this works. I'm not filling it all the way to the top unless I should, should I? I don't really know how this works. Oh, maybe you can do it all the way to the top. Mmm, that tastes good. Pumpkin pie spice, pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, pumpkin spice. Spice, America, pumpkin spice, America. Pumpkin spice, America. <gasps> Camera, got too excited about this pumpkin spice. Okay, so I have like more batter than there is dough cups, but that's okay, we don't need to really eat all of this, do we? No, we probably shouldn't eat all of this. We don't need it, so it's good that we don't have more dough cups. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven for 60 minutes, which in American terms is one hour. America, pumpkin spice, oh my God, America. <sighs> Things a fight when you get older. <gasps> okay, I think we're fine. Okay, I think we're, we're good. 60 minutes! You know, I think people just don't know how to pick a ripe persimmon. You have to get it where it's not quite mushy and it's not super, super hard. And then I think you'll just go crazy about it. I think we should all be obsessed with this fruit. I love this fruit. It is pumpkin spice. Anyway, I'll see you in an hour. Figure it out. Yay, pumpkin spice, America! It's, it's ready, I think, hopefully. Oh yeah, it didn't hit me until I was just checking on these that maybe I should have adjusted for the fact that it's not a big pumpkin pie thing. Like I think maybe, maybe Maybe it was supposed to be less time, but that's okay. It smells delicious. Um, I can't wait to eat these. I just read in the recipe that we have to now refrigerate these for four hours to overnight. So I think we're just gonna have pumpkin pie for breakfast. <gasps> Yay! It's kind of like a muffin. What's the difference between a muffin and a cake other than the time of day? Answer me that. So, what do I just keep them in this, I guess? Let me see if I even have room in my fridge. Oh my gosh, no, I don't. Surprise! Clear out some room in your American fridge. Now you pump can't fit. How many times can we use that pun? I pump can't count. I think we have already done enough. Over and up we go. See you at breakfast time. Good morning, pie for breakfast time. It's happening. Let's check on our little pie babies and see if they made it through the night. Hello. Oh, <laughs> they look good. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we got some pumpkin pies going on. They got a little like indented. I don't know if that's supposed to happen, but it did. And we love them anyway. Imperfections are what make us perfect. I think like Caesar said that or something. Anyway, let's see if they come out of here easily. <gasps> Whoa, they come out so easily. That's awesome. I was really expecting a lot of trouble with these. But no, they're little good boys and girls. So yeah, there's that. Wow, that looks cool. I hope it tastes good. It looks, I'm, uh, it looks like very promising. So the last thing to do before we see if they're tasty is of course to put whipped cream on them. I picked up this soy whip from the store. Uh, you can make your own whipped cream if you want. I think that's probably better, uh, like more simple ingredients, not as processed, probably better 
better for you. But at the end of the day, we're all eating whipped cream, so it's not an apple. Do what you must, but I'm only judging you if you don't put whipped cream on your pumpkin pie. What kind of monster? We won't get into it. Are you frozen? How do you operate? Are you ready, B-Real Camera? Cause magic is about to happen. Yeah. Ooh, those look good. Oh, babies. Babies, they're just babies. I gotta say, these look too pie for. I hate me too. All right, let's see if these are tasty. We have some pumpkin pie for breakfast. Tart cups, cup tarts. It sounds wrong, but. Pumpkin pie in a cup. Let's try it out. Okay. How's that? It does say pumpkin pie. Well, yeah. It's good. It's supposed to taste like pumpkin pie. So well, is it successful? Very. Yes. <laughs> Well, this yeah. is so good! Yeah, it's really good. Why does your reaction always like scare me? His reaction's always like so like, oh, okay. But he really likes it. And then I, after the camera turns off, he like raves about it and then eats all of them. This and is how I am. I know. <laughs> but I wish that your conversation after the camera turns off was on camera. Because he like raves about everything. But on camera he's like, hmm, meh. Yeah, it's pumpkin pie. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is pretty good. It's good. This is oh, so good. good. You did a good job. You know what I would do? I would do, if I were to do this over again, I would make the crust a lot thinner. And I would put more pumpkin pie filling. Because <laughs> I'm not a huge crust fan. If you're a huge crust fan, then this is really good. But I like my ratio of pumpkin pie to crust to be like way more pumpkin pie than crust. Oh, see, I like the crust better. Oh, really? I'm not a big pumpkin pie person. Oh, so you're into these. Yeah, I dig this a lot. Okay. Yeah, I, I like the flavor a lot. I just want more pumpkin pie filling. You did a good job. It was good. Very good. I was really worried about them not working out. No, they taste good. These are good. All right, pumpkin pie for breakfast, man. Who knew? Probably shouldn't do it. It but... feels like, like the day after Thanksgiving. Yeah. You ever go into the fridge and then like scoop out some with a spoon and like pretend like you didn't actually eat pie in the morning because you just like had a bite with a spoon or five bites? Nope, oh. never did that. Yeah, me neither. Anyways. This is bomb. I don't really like pie that much, but I love pumpkin pie. pie guy. I like I love the fall pies. Apple, pecan, and pumpkin, those are like the fall pies. I feel like we're on a boring date right now. You know, I like a uh, fall pie. <laughs> and I'm like, uh huh. I feel um, super rejected. I thought this date was going really well, but okay, I guess. Um, no, 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 I guess I'm not that interesting. Okay, I was gonna fine. totally ask We showed up in our pajamas, and I don't know, we're talking it's about It's a pie for breakfast party. That's great. You seem really cool. Let's do this again sometime. Right. I'm gonna ask my friends about you. Anyway, make these, subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye! Watch my other videos too. How about, I don't know, how about, they're like up there. Are we just on this date so okay. you can push your videos? Okay, bye!